Are you an editor trying to charge more and lend more eye paying clients? Well, if you're not using a 3D software yet, you could be leaving thousands on the table. So today I'm going to show you the basics of creating a 3D scene, even if you've never touched a 3D software in your life. Because creators like Iman Gazi, Fern, and Magnus Media are investing heavily in, in people who can create stunning 3D animations, and with some artists actually charging hundreds of dollars per second of animation, this is a skill you can't afford to miss out on. So the first step is to simply download Blender and the add-ons that come with it. So we're simply gonna download Blender Kit, which allows us to import 3D models and materials for free. So now we're gonna download another add-on. It allows us to create human inside of Blender. So we're gonna simply go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna have to click on the latest release. So now what we can do is simply download the asset packs. So simply scroll down and download these three main packs. So you're gonna go on each of these download packs and you're gonna download them individually. These packs will make the process of creating the 3D character easier because it will give us the assets right away. Now open Blender, you're gonna have to click on General. Then what you're gonna have to do is simply click on Edit and then click on Preferences. Now make sure that you're on Add-on. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply click on Install from Disk and you're simply gonna search for all of the add-ons that you installed earlier. So first I'm going to search for the character creation add-on and I'm simply going to install it and then I'm going to search for the Blender Kit add-on and I'm simply going to install it also. If the Blender Kit add-on is correctly installed, you're supposed to see this. Now click on N, you're going to have to click right there and now what you're going to have to do is simply click in this. Now go to the Assets Library Settings and you're simply going to import all of the assets that we downloaded earlier for, for the character creator. Make sure that all of your folders are really well organized because it can re really be messy real fast. Now the second step is simply to find assets. And to find your assets, you're going to have to understand your scene. Me, I'll personally I need the workstation, so I'll need a chair and a desk. And we'll use the site CG Trader and Sketchfab to find our assets. So we're simply going to search for our chair. And then you're going to have to click on download and click on GLB. This is really important. Now I'm simply going to search for a desk and I just seen a desk that is already all cluttered together so it's really good. So I'm simply going to click on download. I'm going to click on GLB as always. And I'm going to download these things and if you didn't find the asset that you want to find in Sketchfab, what you can do is simply switch website and go to CG Trader. Maybe you'll find the perfect model for your scene and again it all depends on your scene. Now the third step is to create a character. Now you're going to have to go back to Blender, you're going to have to create a new project, select everything and click on X to delete it all. Now click on N, you're going to have to click on the character creator, now click on new human, click on from scratch, now select the sex and click on create human. You can control the camera with these settings right there. And what I'm going to do is simply show you the settings. On model, you can change all sorts of settings. I'm simply going to change his uh, muscles because, you know, we don't really have time to go over that. And on rigging, add a rig and make sure you add it on Mixamo mode and add a standard rig. Now this is done, what you're going to have to do is simply add your assets and we're simply going to add some clothes first. So I'm simply going to search for a suit like that. I'm simply going to equip it and I'm simply going to select some shoes. And if you don't see the colors, then you should see the colors. Now what I'm going to do is simply add some hair. Okay, I'm going to equip this type of hair right there. Now just add the pair of eyes. I'll add the skin. As you can see, it's really easy. It's just some assets that we downloaded earlier that makes our process really easy to for us. Now that your character is done, this part is really important. You're going to have to save your project in a separate folder. Then you're going to have to click on File. Then, ex then external data, then you're going to have to click on unpack file and then you're going to have to click right there. Now what you're going to have to do is simply click on file again, export, and then make sure that you put the mode at copy and you click on that little thing right there. Now save everything. Now that this is done, what you're going to have to do is simply click on your go on the folder that you saved everything and you'll, and you'll see a texture folder. Make sure to see the pictures are really clearly and what you're gonna have to do is simply delete everything that's black 
and not clear so we're simply gonna pick we're simply gonna let the, the the color thing like the skin the hair the shoes and the suit we can also delete the, the tongue and the teeth because we don't need it now we're gonna go over to mixamo to animate our character we're gonna have to op click on upload character and we're gonna have to click on our fbx on our character that we exported earlier now simply go go ahead and click on next now what you're gonna have to do is simply select an animation that you want as you can see there's a lot of them now i'm simply gonna search for a guy that is working on the desk so i'm simply gonna search for typing i'm gonna search and i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna click on download and i'm gonna click on download again and as you can see we don't have any textures it's normal Put a new brand project and delete everything now what you're gonna have to do is simply understand what is your scene made out of my scene is made out of a wall and a floor so i'm gonna add a mesh and i'm gonna add a plane and what i'm gonna do is simply scale it up with s simply gonna drag my mouse like that to scale it up now i'm simply gonna add another plane to add the wall and what i'm gonna do is simply go ahead and click on the rotation widget right there and i'm simply gonna rotate it and if you don't rotate it perfectly it's normal just click on that and just fix the value right there you can do it manually it's way better and what i'm going to do is simply click on s to scale it up again and then what i'm going to do is simply push push it to the edge so i'm simply going to click on this gizmo and i'm going to push it to the edge of the floor now to add the colors I'm, as you can see there's no colors, there's no texture so what we're going to add is simply use the blender kit add-on and we're going to search for floor texture to add to our floor and search for a texture that you like and simply drag and drop it into your model and as you can see we got a floor texture and just do the same for the wall this is a really really fast workflow and i don't think there's any better workflow than that for beginners so now what we're gonna do is simply import our model so i'm gonna import the chair first and as you can see it's clipping so what i'm gonna do is simply um get it out of the floor so i'll put it up like this now what I'm going to do is simply rotate it towards the wall. So I'm going to click on the rotation gizmo and rotate it like this. And as you can see, I'm simply going to manually rotate it for it to be perfect. Now I'm simply going to push it more towards the wall, but not too much because I'm going to leave some space for the desk. And talking about the desk, what I'm going to do is simply import the desk like this. And as you can see, there's nothing. It's because it's really, really big. So what I'm going to do is simply click on S to scale it down and i'm gonna scale it down so it can have a normal size you know now what i'm gonna do now what i'm gonna do is simply try to place it uh in front of the chair i'm simply gonna use my rotation gizmo but as you can see it's not really working really well so what you can do is simply change the vision right there you can change the perspective right there to have a better control over your rotation now as you can see it's way better and i can place it a lot better so I'm just going to push it to the wall like this. Not too much, but just enough for it to be realistic and for it to make sense. And you're not going to import the 3D character that you exported from Blender. You're going to actually import the 3D character that you downloaded from Mixamo. So once this is done, as you can see, it has no texture. This, I know this is weird, but don't worry about it. Simply go ahead and click on the part of the character. I'm going to select the hair first. And what I'm going to do is simply drag and drop the hair texture. And I'm simply going to plug the yellow thing to the base color thing. So as you can see, we got the hair texture together. And what you're going to have to do is simply do the same all over and again. So I'm going to select the suit. So I'm going to simply select the face. Drag and drop the face texture and plug it in. Again with the suit, I'm going to select it drag and drop it and plug it in i'll do the same for the eyebrows drag and drop plug it in now the last piece to do is simply import our 3d character and simply the same all over again simply drag select drag and drop and plug it in now i'm going to select the shoes and as you can see, what I'm going to do is simply drag and drop. I'm going to plug it in and it won't work. It's totally normal. Simply simply unlink this alpha. And, 
now as you can see we got our whole character now to move it we're gonna what you're gonna have to do is simply click on ctrl a create a new empty and what you're gonna have to do is simply select the skeleton right there and shift select the empty and click click on ctrl p and click on object and you can now move your character with the empty so now you can move it around you can scale it up you can rotate it without ruining the bone structure so what i'm going to do is simply rotate it so as you can see i messed up so i'm going to click on ctrl z so now our character is actually on a desk working on a computer but as you can see it's not really uh holding the mouse correctly so i'm simply going to shift select the chair with my character and i'm simply going to move them together like this and as you can see my character is already having that little animation and it looks like he's working on a computer so that's actually good step is to make a camera animation so what we're gonna have to do is simply click on, on shift a and create a new camera simply position it correctly and click on the camera button to see the vision of the camera now click on n go ahead and click on view and simply select all these things right there now this will make sure that every time you move your, your mouse around the scene the camera will follow so with this technique what you can do is simply uh, position your camera now simply make sure to select the camera like this and click on i to make a keyframe now simply go a few frames forward and make a simple zoom or whatever motion you want the camera to, to have and simply click on i again to add another keyframe and this will make you an animation as you can see it, it's super easy to do and it's not really complex but the animation is actually really good and you can also expand it by pushing the keyframe a little bit for further now what i'm going to do is simply click on tab i'm going to click on the screen and i'm going to go to the shading tab and i'm going to add a video to fill up the to simply fill up the screen of the empty of the empty monitor so as you can see now the monitor is not empty anymore now let's go to the final step that will change everything lights this is actually a game changer when done right so what we're gonna have to do is simply uncheck these two boxes to move freely now what you're gonna have to do is simply click on the final render look so this is how, so this is how your scene will look in the final so what we're gonna do is simply create a new light by simply selecting light and then click on point now what you're gonna have to do is simply position your lights towards your subject so as you can see you can change the mode of your lights right there so i'm simply gonna play around with the settings to see what i like so i think i like this right this one right there because it looks realistic and good enough for me so what i'm going to do is simply rotate it and see what works and what doesn't work so now i'm going to simply add some more lights but this time i'm simply going to leave them leave them as point lights and i think i'm simply going to go to the camera view to see how it looks in the frame and i can also change their intensity and also i'll change their colors so i've been thinking about changing the color into a blue color so it can have a little bit of of um customized atmosphere so i'm simply gonna do that like that and as you can see the color customization really adds something more to the scene so what i'm gonna do is simply copy and paste the light so i can have more lights and that the atmosphere can be better so what you're gonna have to do is simply go on the render and check the box of ray tracing and motion blur now we're gonna have to go on film and you're simply gonna have to play around with the settings to see what fits the best for you so i recommend you copy my settings because they're really good looking but play around with the contrast and the gamma because this really depends on certain scenes now so now as you can see the animation looks really clean so what you can do is simply uh s go to the export settings right there simply make sure to select the video format now select a path that you want the video to be exported at now what you're gonna have to do is simply click on export and export animation and this will take a long time but once the animation is done it will it will be downloaded in the path that you gave it and while you wait you might want to check this video that will teach you more about the ai art animation style from imangazi videos i'll see you there